is the bed sunnah or wajib according to the ayma mujtahideen it is wajib and it is uh, a person who uh, 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 does not uh, practice this uh, uh, is guilty of uh, a fisk I've answered this question why do people think the Prophet of the prayers in hell well that's the best evidence have you about for now and that is such a poor evidence. Why? To declare kufr on someone, and especially the parents of the Prophet is a huge responsibility which they have taken over their shoulders. That is why be careful uh, uh, in this respect. What is the best durood to read? Well, durood is durood. Whichever durood you read, it is permissible. But some people try to uh, 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 limit the Duru by simply saying the best Duru is Duru de Ibrahimi. I want to clarify this. Duru de Ibrahimi is a Duru, but it is not a complete Duru. Why? Because Allah's order is Ya ayyu allazina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Read Salah and Salah. In Duru de Ibrahimi there is only Salah. So Duru de Ibrahimi is not complete. It is a beautiful Duru to read, but it is not a complete Duru. Why? It is complete only when you read it in conjunction with As-Salaamu Alayka Ayyuhu Then it is complete and then it is uh, good. But Durood is Durood, however you read it, it's not a problem. Imam Zain al-Abideen was once asked, what is the sign of the Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah? He said, their sign is that they have any opportunity and they read Durood in Lots of Wahhabis talk about Sufi. Is this a Malaysian word? What do Sufis do this? Dancing. Oh, dancing. Raks. The Sharia does not allow raks. The Sharia forbids raks. But when a person, there is a hadith where a particular companion, uh, and there are many hadiths on this, where he engaged in an action which was, uh, uh, which was uh, uh, um, an almost an imitation of raks, and the Prophet said, did not stop him. The fatwa of Mujannid al-Fisani, Shaykh Ahmed Sarandi, applies to dancing in the same way as it applies to music and in the same way as it applies to TV in this day and age. What a beautiful fatwa. He said, if music is used for a halal purpose, it is halal. Oh. If it is used for a haram purpose, it's haram. Now when you listen to music with the name of Allah and His Rasul, if your object is the corruption of your nafs, then you are liable for that. But sama, raqs, within the ambit of a, a particular silsila, as long as it is within the ambit of that, in the prescribed manner, and it doesn't defy sharia. But one thing is for sure, there are certain actions that no matter which name you use, Sufi or Silsila, it is not permissible. The intermixing between sexes, the touching between sexes, this is not permissible. No Sufi or no uh, uh, Vali who has walked on this earth has allowed these actions to take place in the name of Tariqah. Anything that for, is forbidden by Sharia, it cannot be uh, 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 approved in the ranks of the Salaf or by any Sufi. I think the best way to deal with this is how, the question is how many countries celebrate the Malu? Officially. Officially. I only know one country that doesn't celebrate Malu. <laughs> if you look at the whole Islamic world, you don't need to count how many don't. How many do? All you have to do is count how many. No. No. And that is only one country. And that's only because the, the, the grip of the family of al Sheikh is reducing. <coughs> you know the worst thing is, if you go in front of the Maja Mubarak of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you do You know, they hit you, they move you away. In the olden days, they used to arrest you. They used to beat you up. 
So the beautiful thing is, when the king of the country comes in front of the Rada of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is on his side, the chief mufti is on his left hand side, and when he does dua to the Rada of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, no Salafi has the guts to declare war against the king. So they think on the Lord by the king. Why? Because they know they can get away with it. But remember that the only, and even in Saudi Arabia, up till now, the true Ahle Sunnah al Jama'ah, even now they celebrate Milan and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Even now. They've always celebrated Milan. Yes, inshallah. So therefore, there is no country on this earth where Milad is not celebrated. In one week, I will be, one week or ten days, inshallah, I'll be on the other side of the world. There's a dot in the map. It's called Fiji. When the day of Milad comes, forget about Muslims. Even the kafirs, the whole country shuts down. Why? Because Milad is the national holiday for the whole of the PGI. Oh. So that a Muslim country is a non-Muslim country. And now the question arises, can non-Muslims also benefit from Milad? Can non-Muslims also benefit from Milad? The answer is yes. The Dalil is a hadith which Imam Bukhari brings where Abu Lahab, Abu Lahab, he is doing tawaf around the Kaaba. And his slave girl, Thuweba, comes to him and says, Oh, Mullah, good news for you. He said, what? He said, she said, your family, your, uh, uh, um, uh, you have a nephew. A nephew has been born in your family. In the happiness of hearing the news of the birth of Rasulullah, <coughs> Abu Lahab, with his finger, freed. The slave, Suwaiba. Hazrat Abbas, radiallahu anhu, saw Abu Lahab, who is a certified, not only certified, he's a charter journey. <laughs> not certified, he's a charter journey. And not only that, his hands are hands which Allah has condemned in the Quran. You will break his one finger, tabbat yada, break both of your hands. Abu Lahab, Allah named him. But when Hazrat Abbas saw Abu Lahab in Jahannam, he said, Oh Abu Lahab, how is Jahannam? He said, Terrible. But one thing, on Monday, on which day? Monday. Monday. On Monday, I set my finger in Jahannam and I uh, receive the khfif reduction in my punishment on, a, on account of sucking his finger. He said, Why? He said, Because it was with this finger that I celebrated the Milad of Rasulullah. So, so, therefore, a Milad can be of benefit even to a Kafir. That is the view of the Ahl Sunnah. And by the way, Ibn Kasir has quoted this. Ibn Taymiyyah has quoted this. And, and have quoted this to be a, a, a sound durations of this Hadith as to ever, as it is otherwise known. Yes. Last question. Really? <laughs> Kafir has many meanings, uh, but the Shari meanings is that someone who defies that which is part of the usul of deen. There are certain usuls of deen, pillars. If you defy those usuls, you become a kafir. Any one of them, you, defy, you become a kafir. 